Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R. I'm uh, your host, the Musical Gamer. I've been stopped. I have been told to cease and desist as I was leaving the pyramid by uh, Justine over here. I have no idea what the old man with the nose could possibly want, but uh, apparently we have a meeting. So uh, let's go say hi. I know that there's currently a uh, fusion alarm going on, I believe. To discuss. Apparently we have much to discuss. So, so much so that this is a uh, voice acted. So clearly this must be something somewhat important. I have absolutely no idea what this could be though. Hello? There you are, inmate. Hi. Can I help you too? Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation and hence has given you use of a special ritual. A what now? It's the gallows, used to strengthen persona abilities. Gallows, huh? Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently gonna consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate. Sure. What are, what, what are we talking here? The gallows. All right. Let's see what this can do Pursue for us. rehabilitation with all your body and soul. Uh, well, actually, first things first. <laughs> we need to register these to guys. Register the so, uh, the, that'll be taken care of. What about a you? Time, the electric chair. The gallows. Strengthen Today the personas. Mmm. Why don't we take a look at Nekka Shogun over here? Oh, right. This is sacrificial fusion. Okay. I remember this now. <laughs> I gotta relate all these processes to, like, old SMT things like Sacrificial Fusion. Uh, that's always been a thing, but it's called the Gallows here in P5. I can't remember these things. I'm old. Sue me. So if we were to say, like, Sacrifice Naga over here, we get a bunch of bonus EXP. Apparently even more so, maybe because of the Fusion Alarm. I'm wondering if that's where this times 2 multiplier is coming from. As well as, uh, some stat boosts. That ain't half bad. I don't really know if we want to do this, though, right now. One thing we should probably do, though. Wisely. What can we fuse? We're level 33. We could make a Lilum. Lilum might not be bad. Uh, we get rid of Andres. We would need to resummon Aramitama, though. Uh, that could be done. It doesn't seem like a uh, bad idea, at the very least. Lilum's good. It is neither remarkable Lilum, Lilum is good, Siv, and not just because she's easy on the eyes. Got some Bufala skills, and we are, you know, actually, we're sorely lacking in ice. Uh, this might not be a bad idea. So, Naga plus Aramitama will equal Lilim, who's cold-blooded. Increases the chance of inflicting freeze during one more. Okay, that's fair. That is very fair. Oh, right, you do have Bufala. I almost forgot Aramitama actually had ice. Hmm... Well, then it's not nearly as important, but you know what? I think we'll do it anyway. New Persona is a good idea, and I think we'll keep cold-blooded. So we can give you... What can we give you? Let's give you Zionga. Let's give you some lightning. As well as, obviously, the uh, standards. Regenerate 2 and Growth 1. Because <laughs> we have that now. Uh, let's get... Oh, you have Lullaby. You don't need Dormina. We can do Rage, but I don't really see the need for it, per se. So I guess we'll get Fryla some Nuke. And I suppose Mavrakunda? Well, well. Why not? And we have this alarm fusion, so how powerful is Lilim gonna be? I am Lilim. I'll leave the realm of dreams for a while and become your mask. Why thank you, dear. Why thank you, dearie. I do appreciate the support. What are we, what are we talking here? Whoa, look at that endurance increase. Holy shit. And that wants to level? To what, Ma Freyla, maybe? Do it? Yeah, Ma Freyla. Sweet. That ain't half bad. Ma Secunda. Now, do we want to have that over something else? Maybe Freeze Boost. See, now I don't know. Increases the chance of inflicting Freeze. That is not a bad skill to pair with Bufala and her trait. I think I want to keep that. Ah, mm. Yeah, let's get rid of my Rakunda for my Sukunda instead. Dodge Bless. That could be good. Temporarily overflowing with power. You could, you could hear the strain of the Guillotine, though. 
Methinks we shouldn't do that then. Uh, what could we actually itemize you into? Ice amp instead of ice boost. Okay, not that great. This will become stone of scone. Even more powerful oh wait, hold on. Accessory. Hold on. Ah, look at this. Okay, so the stone of scone R. So that would give us plus five endurance instead of the normal plus three. Okay. That doesn't actually sound like a bad idea either. Today but I want to take a look at this gallows stuff. City. So select a persona to sacrifice. What happens well, if we do this? It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. What happens if we do this under the fusion alarm? I actually... I'm scared. I'm scared to find out because I don't want to have to like spend more money than I have to. Hmm. Always I'm not entirely more. sure. Okay, hold on. I want to just take a quick look. What would Stone fusion. of Scone create? Is there anything we'd want? Decorabia. Yes, that would be great, but I, I already know as soon as we do it, uh, we're going to lose everything. Like, we're not gonna, we're not going to get Dagarabia, so that's probably not a good idea. So you know what we should do? I think I'm going to go for that itemization. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's go for that itemization. This is its powered up form. For the Stone of Skull. This will become an e is this the yeah, let's do this. Design? And when this invariably goes wrong, because of course it will, we're, we're talking about the second attempt here during a fusion alarm. I have not seen anything work twice in a row in a fusion alarm. I, who knows? Maybe I could be wrong. This could be the first time. Oh, did it work? Oh, shit, it did. Okay, that, uh, hmm. That's going to make this, uh, a little tricky now. <laughs> the chair has grown finicky. <laughs> Please be careful if you plan on using it. Oh, no. Uh, great. I wasn't planning on that. Lovely. Today we will hang them more forcefully. Let's uh hmm. What happens if we try this? So say say we want to try uh let's take Neko Shogun again. And let's try you putting uh Andres into him. Because <laughs> why not? Oh no. What's gonna happen here? Uh it's gonna get some experience. Is yeah, sure. You wish to give receive? it give it a try. <laughs> this may be somewhat grisly. Grizzly, you say? How is the, oh? How is this gonna look? Oh, that's right! Time to hang! Hang ten, dude! Oh, great! Well, Neko Shogun uh, is pretty happy about this. So, cornered Fang, which is. Fine. Powers up when surrounded. Nah. Wait. Don't you have a right? Allows use of skills only available when surrounded. So I would assume that means the bonus effect from this would be uh, boosted as well. So, you know, let's get rid of Lucky Punch. Goodbye. And you want to learn Evil Touch? Apparently, high chance of fear to one foe. Do we care? I mean, kind of maybe. Hey, get rid of Diorama. We can have other personas to heal with. And Terror Claw. Medium chance of fear. Uh, you know what? No, we don't need to learn that. Looks like we overuse the gallows. They may not work as we expect for some period of time. Great! <laughs> we just keep going! Choose wisely. How is this okay? How is this okay? <laughs> Something cheap. How much is this gonna cost? Oh, that's still uh that's still a chunk of change. Alright, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna be super Is cheap because I don't trust anything about this right now. This we're gonna be super super cheap. Give me give me some like really low level personas real quick. Uh, Arsene, sure. This, this <laughs> Come back, power. Arsene! We're gonna we're gonna fuse you away. Uh as well as uh Silky, sure. Take it, then. Come here, Silky. <laughs> What's gonna happen if I do this? Okay, this, this whole part of the episode is just me like experimenting with fusion stuff. So this would make succubus normally. Choose which skills to inherit. This would make succubus. Uh, what if we give you ailments? Nah. Let's give you intense focus. Sure, take everything. Be a respectable both of you. Go. To work. How uh? Hmm. How bad is this going to be? Is this going to work? Is this going to fail? I'm not entirely sure. We, we need to watch these animations because I don't, I don't believe it's going to work. But I won't know unless we see. Come on, freeze up! 
Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Bring out the chainsaw. There is no chill in this velvet room. What do we get? Ooh, Kurama Tengu. Okay, that's uh, it's better than Succubus at least. Well now, level thirty-one. Turn of events. Holy shit! Okay, that was worth it. That was absolutely worth it. We wound up with the Kurama Tengu. All right, sure. Hey, hey, Joker. I can't believe you're fine just spacing out in this heat. I'm getting killed here. <laughs> don't don't worry about me. Uh, so what personas do we have now? A hermit, devil, faith, temperance, uh, counselor. Right, I want to go get that stone of scone again and uh, level up Nigi Mitama into Dekarabia, and then maybe pull back some other personas. So uh, I'll see you guys back in reality. All right, and we are done and out of here. Let's show off this infiltration log because it is a glorious thing to see. Oh man, look look at all this stuff. Look at this, look at this. Look at all the things we accomplished. <laughs> I love it so much. Sweet. So unfortunately, yes. all right. I mean, we're, we're probably fine. I ended up spending a lot more money than I, I thought I was going to. We went from like 250K down to about 190 or so. When all is said and done. Okay. So we did spend quite a bit of money on fusion. However, we do still have 190k, uh, as well as all the loot that we can still sell. So we should be totally fine in terms of finances for at least a little while. Gauntlet cards ready. That was fast. I mean, I already wrote three of them before this, remember? But I came up with almost all of the sentences. You don't gotta mention that. <laughs> Smooth, Ryuji. <laughs> The real question here is when we should go to Futaba's room. Well, um, I think our leader should decide. Look who's the smooth one now. It really should be up to him though, don't you think? Absolutely. We have no choice but to carry this out. It's all on you, Musical. Yeah, thanks. There you have it. Sounds like a pretty important task got pushed on you. <laughs> what else is new? No point in thinking about it now though. We have to do it. Once you've made up your mind, just give the order as usual at the hideout. All right, we'll do. We'll do. Hey, the thieves then was updated. <laughs> Maybe we'll take a look at that. Who knows? Oh, you want to go buy a new swimsuit, huh? There's nothing to do at the beach, and it's going to be hot. We should just go to the movies. Oh, thanks for the coffee. <laughs> yeah, wait a shoot down your girlfriend, huh? Oh, yeah. You were tested before the summer break, right? How were they? Uh, perfect. They went well. Oh, oh you have a good look on your face. You can have this. Look at your face with it. What? A dandy me- Excuse me? You actually are pretty smart, huh? You showed me. Studying is good and all, but men need to keep up their looks, too. Looking clean is important. <laughs> Truer words were never spoken. Oh, the con horror stories you always hear. Anyway, what, what is this mirror that he gave us? The dandy mirror. Where is it? Where is it? Of wrath. Speedmaster? What does that do? Automatic Sukukaja. Eh, okay. That's fair, I suppose. Wasn't this, um. I thought it was a. What? Where is it? Ooh, the necklace? No, that's that's not right. That's not what we're looking for. Is it something only I can equip or something? It's like, I didn't even see. There it is. Oh, apparently, it is only for me. A compact mirror used by a seasoned veteran. So it gives you Counter-Strike. Interesting. That honestly doesn't sound like a bad ability. You know what? As great as this Ring of Vanity is, I'm not really using it all that much. I think I'll equip this dandy mirror. I would love a 15% chance to reflect back physical attacks. It's like a great big ol' F you to whoever decides to attack me. <laughs> I can dig it. Can you? Because I know I can. All right, well, either way, nice. the plant is fine. Do we have um anything we can do around the house? I suppose there might be something. I don't think we have a book to read. We can play a video game. We can make some uh, tools. I don't think we, we... We don't even really need to make tools. One thing, however. You know what? Now that I think about it, the boss is here. Mm, one thing we could do is clean the bathroom. 
boost our kindness just that little bit and make sure we can actually rank up with this guy. Because I don't know. I can't remember if we can or not. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's do it. Well, then. Boosting our kindness is probably for the best. Ooh. There you go. Okay, good. He can, he can uh, rank up. Maybe he could before and this is kind of a waste, but uh, we need to focus on kindness anyway. Yeah, we're cleaning pros here. All right, I'll clean. I bet the chief's gonna be happy with this. Yeah, we'll take this uh, bit of kindness. <laughs> kindness is currently only level three, so it's our weakest set. This is fine though. Oop, ring a ding ding. Who could it be at this hour? Hello? Oh, Yusuke. Since it's summer vacation, I'll be heading to the block tomorrow afternoon. The cafe is cool and quiet, and it's relaxing with the Sayuri there. It's a peaceful place. I'm thinking of relaxing and reading a book. Moreover, we could easily meet up should something occur. We can kill two birds with one stone. Don't worry if you already have plans. I'll be stopping by either way. If you'd like, we could spend some time together. Yusuke's coming tomorrow, huh? Might be nice to hang out with him. Eh, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Yusuke is going to probably spend some of his time here at the cafe, which is fine. He's, he's absolutely correct. W when you think about it, it is smart. He's going to make himself already at the cafe in case of uh, any sort of thing. Oh, one of my friends is here to visit. Yeah, Yusuke is here. Uh, if your confidant sends you a message prior, they might visit LeBlanc and you can invite them up to your room to spend time with them. Oh, is that like something nice. different? Wait, is that like something new? I'm not entirely sure. Hey. Hello. Because it's summer, don't go all wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where is, uh, where is Yusuke? Is he over here? Oh, yes, there he is. Hi. Hey, dude. Oh, I've been waiting here for you. Oh, and I brought an art book I would like to read with you. Maybe it'll improve my charm if I read a book with you. Hmm. We're not planning to infiltrate today. Why don't we search for ideas between the pages of this book? Ah, you know. You needn't mind me, I will simply be gazing at the Sayuri in the meantime. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. Wh who is available for uh linking today? Anybody? It is raining. It looks like nobody's available today. Whatsoever. Huh. Okay. Weird. I'm wondering, actually, what would be the best thing to do? It's a Wednesday. Do we really have anything going on? Town Detectives, Ikebukuro. Look at him and seeing a sky so full of stars. is romantic. <laughs> sure. Uh, Destiny Land in Maihama. All right, then. You're telling me to go to give more money to goddamn Disney? That's not what I want. Mm -hmm. Still putting the cat in the back. Maybe we do... I think we do infiltrate today. There is nothing going on today. No links, no nothing. It could just be a stat day. We could even read a book with Yusuke. Boost some uh, relationship with him. But I don't think we need the relationship. So I'm thinking... This is the time to meet up with everyone. Let's do it and let's head on in. When are we going to charge balance. into Futaba's room? There's no point thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between. So make sure you're ready beforehand. Yeah, we should be good. We could go to the store, but I think we're fine. Honestly, with our equipment as is, I think we're good. So this is going to be a little different. There is no day between. Normally you would have the, you would agree to send the calling card, have that day to prepare, and then go into the palace tomorrow. Futaba's palace is a little different. You'd go in immediately as soon as you send it. So keep that in mind. If you have any work you want to do before you go into the palace, make sure you take care of it. Otherwise, are you sure we're ready to go? The card is ready to send. Once Futaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight into her palace. Is that okay? That is perfectly fine. Let's go. What could possibly go wrong? I ask you all. Oh. So you're set on doing this? Yeah, well, we gotta. Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even bosses forbidden entry. Well, we'll be honest, maybe? Coax her? I don't know. Let's coax her. 
Doesn't sound very nice, but I suppose it's the basic idea. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Utaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Mmm, curiosity killed the cat, you mean? Wait, that's it? Yeah, uh, honestly, she's very curious about it to begin with. Utaba wants to have a change of heart. She was asking us all those questions. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. All right, forward ho. An eyeball? What's this? Oh no, it's begun. Huh. When did it get on here? Uh-oh. I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? Yeah, seriously, we're not really the most reliable bunch when you think about it. That's... I mean, look who one of our members is. Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? <sighs> if so, I will kill them in your world. That doesn't sound very nice. What should I do? That honestly sounds like the uh, the opposite You're of sorry nice. For sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. Caution tape and all. You're there, aren't you? Please answer us. I doubt she'd answer. <laughs> FBI, open up. Wait, no, that actually be pretty bad right now. Hey, <laughs> Baba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging. Just answer us. Hello? You should have told me you were going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. Yeah, seriously, you gotta work with us here, we girly. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared! <laughs> Get ready right now, then. It's too sudden. The other you within your heart <laughs> told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other me? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. Ten seconds. <laughs> That's too short. At least minutes, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. All right, I'll open it now. Oh, hey, it worked. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. Oh, oh, look at that handle. Hey, it's open. All right, let's go in. Time to storm the castle. What is this? Jesus Christ, girl, you need to hire a mate. I have a good one on speed dial. <laughs> might I be, might you be interested in me introducing you to her? Her name's Becky. Science, information technology, biology, psychology. These are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Yeah, believe me, people can live in worse. Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? Uh. The closet? Oh, God. Oh, God, I already know what you all want me to say, too. She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. <laughs> Lovely. This, this makes no sense. Explain yourself. Wow, she talked. We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. 
I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. You think? So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? You were saying, uh, art boy. Huh? She understood it? Well, why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? All very good questions. Because I knew about it. And that's a shitty answer. God damn it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? Oh yeah, he was. You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. <laughs> Yeah, you seem to be hung up on the particulars, but you're still locked behind a closet door. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. God damn it. So, cognitive science. Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? Oh, now you're all quiet. She's not answering. Hmm. Do we bust down the door, I wonder? Yo. Maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so, you know. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Oh geez, I'm getting to the heart of it. Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. Yeah, that's true. It's a big disconnect. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My, my mom was... The one who killed her was... Oh god. It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. It's just that... I went through a lot myself, and I... I'm sorry. No! Oh. Now steal it! What? Uh... What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Hmm. She seems to have come out of the wooden rectangular box that's located in a room that usually houses clothes. C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's just Kalima you right now. <laughs> Kalima, just crap. <laughs> You're still beating art out of your chest. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. Oh, you poor, poor thing. I see. <laughs> I will never get tired of that moment. She just walks backwards. Doesn't even look, doesn't even raise her head, just grabs the door, just shuts it right away. <laughs> the comedic timing on that is great. What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world. But it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. It's about the, the sum of it. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. 
So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app. Do you? Oh, because it would be real bad if you did. Gee, I hope, I, I'm sure it's not the case that she has the app. I mean, how how awful would that be, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I believe you. Thank goodness. Okay, then. God damn it. And <laughs> they just believe her. Can you take me with you, too? Uh, I mean... Technically, we could. We did it with Makoto, but no. Eh, I gotta agree. Just leave this to us. I'll leave it to you then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Hey, well, let's get the hell out of this pigsty. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Uh, you think? Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. I can't hear you. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, <laughs> so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. All right, well, it's time. She's got the card. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> oh, there we go. No. I'm going to die. I'm surprised that the calling card itself is the important aspect of this, not just the thought that... The Phantom Thieves are coming for you. That's the thing. Is That is one thing I don't understand, because I thought the whole purpose of the calling card was to alert the person with the distorted desires that the Phantom Thieves are coming for you. So if you already know the Phantom Thieves are coming for you, what's the purpose of the calling card? At least in Futaba's case, it's a, it's a little weird. Ah! <laughs> yeah. What, you don't like cats? Kitty, you again? <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's with us. He's a thief. He's a cat burglar. It's fine. Don't call Peter on me now. Yeah! Rolling on up in our cat bus. <sighs> the palace's security level is so high, I can feel it from all the way out here. Huh? Yeah, Futaba seemed totally up for getting her heart stolen. What's up with this? Hmm, something about this place really is unusual. Either way, there's only one thing for us to do now that we've sent the calling card. Yeah. Hell yeah. No matter what we gotta face, we're gonna take that treasure for sure. Yeah, that is the case. We're gonna climb this pyramid and do just that next time. Now let's play some more P5R. The ultimate confrontation and conclusion of the Futaba arc will be happening in the next video. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to get notified when the next video goes live. When we actually go ahead and do that. So that's all for me. This is the Musical Gamer, signing off. Catch you guys next time. Later.